Hey everybody, Chris from Six Winds, and I'm here with Matt. Don't know why I pointed at you with the two finger guns. Maybe it's because I'm excited because we got two matchups to review here in our best male WWE superstar bracket. You could just say best wrestler, but they're superstars, right? They got all the things. They got the in-ring work, they got the mic skills, the characters, the ability to tell a story, the ability to play a heel or a face, get over with the fans. Um, and here are the two matchups we're reviewing. Yeah. Number five seed, Brett, the Hitman, Hart, versus the number 12 seed, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. All right. It's matchup one. Matchup two, the legendary number four seed, Bruno, Sam Martino, versus the number 13 seed, he's awesome, the Miz. <laughs> oh my God, what a matchup that one is. And we're going to get into these matchups and reveal the winners, but here's a question I want to propose to Matt. He doesn't know what's coming. <laughs> that's prefaced every time. He doesn't know what's coming, and yeah. it's true, yeah. but it's just funny that, that we let you know, I'm not ready for this. Yeah, yeah. It's more interesting that way. It makes you think on your feet. Oh, for sure. Yeah. This isn't scripted. We don't know what's going to happen. I'm a good feet thinker. Yeah. Thinking on my hands is real hard, though. <laughs> okay. So the year is 2023. Okay. Which is correct. Ima imagine that, yeah. You are granted, we'll say, $1 billion to start a new wrestling promotion. Okay. <laughs> and these four... They're free agents, yeah. but you only get one. Oh. You only get one of these four superstars. Bret Hart, Cody oh, Rhodes, Bruno, Jesus. or The Miz. And we're going to throw a little kayfabe in there. They're all in their prime. Oh, okay. And you can have one of them to start your new promotion, to help with starting your new promotion. WWE is a thing. AEW is a thing. The landscape of pro wrestling is the same as it is now. It's 2023. But you're starting a promotion, Ooh. and one of them are going to agree to help you with this promotion. Yeah. Which one do the, you take? I had somebody I wasn't going to consider, and I was going to explain why, but then when you said the landscape is the same as it currently is, where there is WWE and AEW, I might have added this person back in. No offense, I am not going to take Bruno San Martino. In this day and age, I don't think he's going to stand out. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, like his, this, we've talked about this a little bit, just in terms of like comparing athletes of a different generation. Whether or not you think guys are getting better or not, certainly expectations change. Mm -hmm. The expectations of what an NBA star can do, mm -hmm. what a pro wrestler can do in ring, what their physical limitations are or no longer are, changes. Mm -hmm. Did anybody think somebody could do a between the legs dunk before Vince Carter did it? Not, I mean, there are probably people on the playgrounds who are like, I'd love to see it. Mm -hmm. But that was like, with the first time you saw that, you're like, this is like the only guy in the world could, that could do it. Yeah. I mean, everybody can do it now. Right. Like 70% of the NBA mm -hmm. can do a between the legs dunk. Mm -hmm. Expectations change and affect how much training and work guys put into it. Mm -hmm. So if if Bruno San Martino was born 40 or 50 years later, could he have the same skills because the expectations would have been different on him? Yes, but mm -hmm. I, I guess I can't know that for mm -hmm. sure. Maybe he just didn't have the body to, to be able to pull off some of the things younger guys did, mm -hmm. not taking away from what he did at the time. He was mm -hmm. a top performer then. Um, but I would not take Bruno San Martino. It was a long way of me saying that. <laughs> um, this is hard. Because the guy I was going to rule out was The Miz. Okay. Because knowing what his interests are, mm -hmm. he is dedicated to wrestling. Mm -hmm. And despite all the other things he does, he's still there. I mean, he came in later than The Rock and Batista and Cena. Mm -hmm. But he's still there more frequently, despite still doing smaller Hollywood roles, mm -hmm. doing his show and stuff, doing talk shows. He's mm -hmm. very committed to wrestling. But I think that split would be concerning yeah. for me to like, this is my guy to start the company with. When is he going to be like, I want to be a movie star and we're done. Okay. And you might have built up for a year or two and now you're screwed. But on the other hand, the reason I brought him back in, if we're trying to get some eyes on the product and WWE's got their wrestlers and mm -hmm. AEW's got their wrestlers, I want a guy in his prime that's already crossed over and is, has like a reality show. Okay. Will go on talk shows, has been in a few movies, because we were like, oh, they got a big star. Mm -hmm. They got The Miz. Yeah. And, like, he's not just a wrestler. So, 
Mm-hmm. I'm leaning towards the Miz for that reason, okay. actually, at this point. If 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 I had to go somebody else, I would probably go Bret Hart. Uh, Cody Rhodes and Bret Hart, you really can't go wrong if you're including that their family name mm-hmm. holds some clout, too. Because people will be like, oh, this is the son of Dusty Rhodes. Oh, this is a member of the Hart family. Mm-hmm. They would bring a lot of clout, so I think both of those would be good. But I think if you have to compete with already established wrestling uh, programs, I think I have to take The Miz. Wow. And I, right. I'm surprised that I did that. because I, <laughs> Like I said, I wrote him out and then you said that. And I was like, I don't think Bret Hart or Cody Rhodes gets you to be able to compete with AEW or WWE. Fair. Yeah. You took him off the table. Put him right back on the table. Yeah. <laughs> put him right there. He's back yeah. in there. Um, I would probably go Cody. Yeah. Uh, just because he's was a big part of AEW getting started. So he's kind of has the track record. He's shown he can do it. it. So he would probably be my choice. And then I wasn't even thinking about his wrestling has more than one royal family. You know, Mm -hmm. the whole roads, you know, they're a big deal. So I'm sure he would know more about the ins and outs of the business than maybe any of them. Yeah, that's a great point that Cody Rhodes really actually kind of already... Halfway did this. With yeah, <laughs> and I was and I wasn't even thinking that when I said AEW, yeah. WWE are still thing. I wasn't even thinking Cody. I was just like, oh wait, as you're talking about, oh Cody kind of has. So yeah, you've changed my mind. I, I wouldn't go Bret Hart then as my second if I wasn't going Miz. It'd either be Miz or Cody for me, right. depending on what I thought I needed more at the time. Cool. What what's what's the what's the public want? Do they want a superstar yeah. that's annoying and doing all these shows? <laughs> do they want a Logan Paul feud right. with the Miz, our big wrestler? Or do they want like somebody? Res- respectable in wrestling <laughs> true, true yeah great Cody kind of checks off great that. question yeah not bad yeah. um so we got some matchups to review i uh i know who i'm voting for for each of these but do you have a favorite in bret hart versus cody rhodes um this was a hard one for me i think i personally think both are overrated mm. <laughs> i think i think bret hart um i know he was great in ring technician and i know he was a great storyteller too and had some really good feuds i maybe he's not overrated maybe he's just oversaturated to me mm-hmm. and like in my prime growing up like the only like big contra like one of the biggest things that always got brought up was like the brett Shawn michaels thing mm-hmm. and how like they did brett so wrong and he would never get over it and he still really never did get over it they did he did come back and do some wwe appearances but it just felt like he's He's gonna, he's holding on to this grudge until he dies, and at some point, I think he's over it. But I would like to just see him, I don't know, not be such a grump about it. Mm-hmm. And then Cody, I like Cody Rhodes. I got nothing against him. I like I said, I've always loved like mid card guys are usually my favorite. Yeah. And Cody, when he was in WWE, was kind of like uh, he was paired with Ted DiBiase's son for a while yeah, yeah. in like a, a Randy Orton stable legacy. Legacy, that's right. Um, and then he like had like face surgery and came back with that mask and he was like, oh, yeah. he was no longer dashing Cody Rhodes. He was like mad about his looks. He had a lot of cool characters, of course. Yeah. He did Stardust, which was kind of hokey, mm-hmm. a little comedic, but I thought it was all right. Mm-hmm. He had a feud with the the Green Arrow actor, Stephen Amell, that's too. That's right. I forgot. So he's done a lot of that. stuff and I like I like all that stuff he does. I don't want to be like a Vince and be like, you're just, you're a B plus player, mm. like a Daniel Bryan here. Mm. I don't see it. I don't, okay. he doesn't get me over in terms of like, a, I want to see this guy as like the top champ. I So I would, I think I would vote for Bret Hart, but maybe that's just because of the name and the respect he gets. Yeah. Um, I hear what you're saying. I won credit to Bret Hart. I loved him growing up. I appreciate the hell out of him because he was the one that gave Stone Cold kind of his boost in their feud, one of Austin's best feud. And truth be told, there was probably like a three-year period where I didn't really watch. It's kind of tail end, ruthless aggression, beginning of PG, maybe 06 to 09. But then they brought Bret Hart back, and I caught wind of it somehow, maybe just a TV commercial, and I had to watch that episode, the big one where him and Sean gave each other a hug and then set up the Vince McMahon match where Vince kicked him in the balls. <laughs> All that being said, maybe it's recency bias. I'm still going with Cody. Yeah. Um, I think his presentation for his WrestleMania return and I think the Hell in a Cell match with Rollins, they had three bangers, um, but that Hell in a Cell match to me was match of the year, 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think he's... I think he's fits the bill i think 
his leave and come back was very good for him. Just like Drew McIntyre, I was able to take him seriously as a top-level babyface. So I'm going Cody Rhodes. And I put it to the vote as we always do. Yeah. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Brett the Hitman Hart won. Yeah, I think I would have been sort of surprised or sort of not surprised either way, honestly. Mm-hmm. I didn't know if people were going to be like, yeah, Cody's a big deal right now and vote for a man or like mm-hmm. or kind of like that pushback that we are starting to see anyway where yeah. it's just like well is this guy as good why is he in the title spot and then like i guess i'm going bret hart because he's kind of a legend yeah fair enough and i did read right before we hopped on here i was using the restroom i looked at my phone and i saw on instagram uh, an eric bischoff quote literally right before we hopped on and it said something along the lines of Triple H is booking Cody Rhodes so strong because he's trying to encourage other AEW guys to jump ship. Oh. So it's kind of like that opposite. Like Sting never wanted to come over because all the WCW guys got buried. Bischoff is like, Triple H is, you know, pushing Cody Rhodes at the top because he wants to see other AEW. Interesting. I don't know. I think yeah. it might just be stirring the pot. Classic Bischoff. That yeah. weasel. I know. Whatever Larry Zabisco and Bobby the Brain he needs to go, <laughs> that weasel, Eric Bischoff. <laughs> right, right. So another matchup. I don't know that I have too much to say about this one. Bruno San Martino, legend versus The Miz. Mm-hmm. You want to? Yeah, I think I, like what I already said about like, expectations mm-hmm. and the changing of what people are able to do in their sport or in whatever they're a professional at changes and f- all the respect to bruno san martino because he matched and exceeded the expectations of his time mm. and Miz matched the expectations of his time he's not like the best in ring you could argue that he's a one of the top guys on the mic to do heel stuff mm-hmm. to get a crowd worked up either positively or negatively but I just have a lot of respect for The Miz. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody that is honest with themselves or even like the wrestlers, if they're honest with themselves, do as well. Mm -hmm. This is a guy that came in from reality television and everybody's like, he's just in it to to boost his own thing and go off and do something else. But he's stuck around. He And he's a good performer. Mm -hmm. He's incredible um, just in talking, building people up, looking good, taking taking the pin, taking the loss for guys mm-hmm. and putting people over. I think The Miz is a really great talent and a great superstar. Really good, full package superstar. So I would take The Miz. Cool. Um, I would say I think the, the right answer would be Bruno, <laughs> but my answer is also The Miz. Yeah. Like, I know Bruno carried the company. It's kind of like uh, exactly what you said, not to sound like a broken record. I know Wilt Chamberlain was... Awesome. I yeah. know Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was awesome, but I just, I'm not at the age where I got to experience a lot of stuff, so um, I would have to go to The Miz. There is something to be said for going into an industry and having probably everybody not love the fact that you're going into that yeah. industry and just being focused enough and determined enough to shut all that out. Like, Miz, Mike Mizowski as a, as a human... I do tip my hat to that. Yeah. And so I go Miz, but when the voting was all said and done, the Miz lost to Bruno San Martino. We had a lot of the big pro wrestling fans come out to vote. Mm. Bruno's moving on. And we're looking at Brett the Hitman Hart versus Bruno San Martino in the second round. 